Sermon 204 of Nahtoblaka was during the Battle of Safin. It is not for us to abuse even our enemies. There are situations where cursing, rather than insult, is acceptable. But it's better to pray to God for reconciliation between us and our enemies, and that the enemies become guided and disinclined from rebellion. There's a couple verses against blasphemy, and I can't really remember what they are, but they do make clear that in Islam we're not off killing people the second people insult the prophet, our religion, our God, our whatever. Um, it's that you separate from the company of such, and you don't blaspheme even the falsity of other paths because people are going to, you know, come up with insults against the right as a result. I mean, you know, some of that is going to occur, not everybody, um, but yeah. Saying 448 reminds us that jokes can detract from our intelligence. And of course, in Islam, one of the things we find, um, you know, the Prophet told us to not lie in jokes and not make jokes to, again, insult people. And saying 449 reminds us that our inclinations towards what we think is advantage could be humiliation. Saying 450 reminds us that the real gain and loss will be after our judgment. You know, our final judgment. And people think about the presentation of deeds. Well, yeah, it starts when you die and things have been finalized, you know. But the witnesses and the effects of your energy trace, of your legacy and your memory, well, that can go on until humanity is done with. 